Underwater drone revolutionizes fishing. Technology company Power Vision has unveiled a drone that can help users see what's going on underwater and may increase efficiency in fishing. The Power Ray drone has an onboard camera and an optional add on fish finder sonar. The devices can be used together or separately. The drone can dive to a depth of 98 feet, while the sonar can track fish about 131 feet below the drone. A blue tinted light is designed to lure fish, while a drop function allows the user to deliver the bait whenever he or she wants. Users can watch the footage captured by the drone via their cell phones, which allows them to better determine when to reel in the fish. Some argue that it's not fishing if you can actually see underwater, but pre-orders for the drone will begin in February, and sales of the device will probably better reflect how many people find the technology appealing. Take a look at some other creative uses of drones in the following stories. New York Fire Department to deploy drones to fight fires. New York's fire department will soon have new eyes and ears above the city. The NYFD is currently testing drones that will help firefighters get a better look at how to fight fires before sending in humans. The $85,000 drones painted fire engine red weigh roughly eight pounds and can move vertically and swivel 360 degrees. They will be attached to a 200 foot long tether. They can capture both standard video and infrared images which are then transmitted to a portable command center, so firefighters can see what they're up against. It takes two firefighters to operate each drone, a pilot to man the controls, and an observer to keep the area clear. The first drone will be deployed in the coming weeks, followed by two more before the end of the year. The drone idea was conceived after a deadly 2014 gas explosion in East Harlem, when an amateur drone operator flew his drone in to help firefighters get pictures of the damaged site. Oxford-based startup to use drones to fight deforestation. Oxford-based startup Biocarbon Engineering is planning to fight industrial deforestation by planting 1 billion trees a year using drones. The drones used by Biocarbon Engineering would first fly above a selected area, map its level of deforestation, and then report its potential for reforestation. After that, automated planting drones carrying seed pods would fly 1 to 2 meters above the ground, following a predetermined planting pattern and fire germinated seeds into the soil. A small pressurized canister would provide the necessary propulsive force for the seed pods to easily penetrate the soil surface. Seed pods filled with nutritious hydrogel to reduce impact forces on the seedlings during planting would then break open upon impact and allow the germinated seeds to grow. One drone can plant 10 seeds per minute. With two operators controlling multiple drones, 36,000 trees could be planted in a single day. The biocarbon engineering system is not as good as hand planting, but it's much quicker and less expensive than traditional planting systems. Amazon submits patent for drone docking stations. When Amazon announced it would soon deliver prime packages via drones, it didn't account for long distance travel. But the company has thought of a solution. Docking stations in areas where dedicated facilities are far and few in between. Amazon has submitted a patent for using tall structures, like lamp posts, as docking and recharging stations for its delivery drones. The patent is for a series of multi-use unmanned aerial vehicle docking stations, which would enable drones to recharge remotely in between deliveries. The company would also be able to provide navigational guidance to lost drones. Lost drones would send error signals to local antennas, which would respond by directing the drone to a nearby station. From there, the drone would receive rerouting information to complete its delivery. The stations could also double as delivery hubs, where drones can drop off packages to be picked up by its receiving Amazon Prime user or another drone for further delivery. Amazon wants to allow drones to perch atop existing tall structures, such as lamp posts, cell towers, power poles, and buildings. The company is looking to develop a system of UAV drones that would deliver packages within 30 minutes or less. The sky's the limit for Amazon's flying warehouses. Amazon has filed a patent for a self-driving airship that can store inventory and be used as a base to launch delivery drones. 
Amazon's airborne fulfillment centers would hover at an altitude of 45,000 feet and be the focal point of a network of unmanned aerial vehicles. The self-driving airships would carry a cargo of Amazon products and unmanned drones to deliver goods to customers. According to a patent filed by Amazon, the drones would navigate horizontally to their destination and would use little to no power. The airships would be replenished by smaller unmanned service vehicles, which could carry workers, drones, fuel and inventory. One potential use of the airships could be for large events, such as concerts or football games, where they could be used to deliver souvenirs or food. The patent for the Amazon airship was filed in 2014, but only came to light last week. Amazon has successfully tested deliveries by drone in the UK and is waiting for federal approval to roll out the service in the United States.